get a better view of not me, but of Tyler, who I've known for, uh, you know, give or take three years. He's working today. And I decided to do a video with him. What we decided to do a video on? Yeah, you're, you're up. Uh, we're talking about uh, people going out to eat. People going out to eat. <clears throat> and I see it every day. People go out to eat. And they go to a restaurant. Not saying it's good, not saying it's bad. More like, I would say 85 90% will have meat, right? Probably. Probably. Yeah. And definitely. definitely meat, right? I, I want to put this as my official uh, outfit to make me look more official, by the way. Do I look official? You look about as official <laughs> as you can get. That's what I want to do. I want to look official and, and very respectable. Now, Tyler said to me, when you eat meat, chances of getting sick are 100%. Well, I didn't say that, but... I said that. You know why I said that? Colin Campbell. Where's Colin Campbell? China study. Basically said, if you eat meat, chance of getting cancer is 100%. And everyone's going to have to eat meat. And when they get sick, who are they going to blame on? The alcohol. No, no, I'm just kidding. They're going to blame it all. They get, not flu. They have a new word this year. You know what that word is? Coronavirus. Coronavirus. Yeah. Not the flu. Because last year, what does that say? Last year. You know what it says? Uh, it's, it says 2019 to 2020, there was 38 million cases of the flu. And then this year, there's only 1,822. And that's based on the CDC, the best of my knowledge. So that came from Fox News. Oh, it came from Fox and News. And it was, it was actually, under there, it says the CDC. Okay, under the CDC. That means they got rid of the flu, and they got rid of the flu. The thing is, it's the cause. No one really talks about the cause. Yeah. And that's beyond, you know what I mean? Because they think, they think, they think, right? They think. Yeah, you know, when you when you brought up the point about how people are like, um, when they get sick, they they got a new thing to blame. They always blame it on like, not the cause, but some effect thing. But they're never looking at like, wha what's causing them what's to get sick. What's causing it? When you got to eat, you're at cause. Yeah. <laughs> Be responsible. Because what they're trying to do, and they're doing a really good job, I mean, they're, they, I don't know who they are, but they're doing a super job of blaming somebody for it without responsibility. Yeah. That's what they're doing. And they also have a, they mean they, also have a uh, cure. You stand in line and get a cure. I'm saying you don't go to restaurants and eat the meat, and it's the same thing, but... Not good for the economy. Seems, it seems almost too easy. It's too easy. <laughs> I say eat bananas. Oh, look, you got put those bananas away at the least. At the very least. We peeled maybe a couple hundred pounds of bananas. Tyler's about ready to leave, and we forgot the bananas. My friends, my friends, this is the cure. Who's coming here? You're eating bananas. The chance of getting sick is. As a 74-year-old man who works 16 hours a day for the past two years, not one day sick? Could be, right? Yeah. Could be. That's By the way, see this big guy? Look how big he is, right? 200 pounds, six foot two. I'm six foot. 24 years old. So. I was his jiu-jitsu partner, right? Yeah. What the heck? Okay, bye.